Okay, to the wall. Now God has told me to run this thing off solar panels a week ago on Thursday afternoon. He spoke to me mentally. Whether you believe it or not, I don't care. These solar panels I had for eight years. They give a life of 10 years. Right now, if you focus on those solar panels for me, those solar panels only put out 120 watts maximum. That's maximum. They only guarantee them for 10 years. I've had those solar panels for eight years. I bought them in Phoenix. It's running the seven and a half thousand pound machine. If you'll swing over on this machine so they can see it, you can see how fast that flywheel's going. It's pumping a uh, 375 pound positive displacement pump, pumping a load 10 foot high. And if you shoot that load, that water going up so they can see how high it goes. And that's pumping about nine gallons per minute. Now you multiply that times 60, multiply it per time 10 hours, and it's over 5,000 gallons going 10 foot high, running free, because that's running without costing a dime. There's no batteries in the system. These solar panels cannot put out uh, about 120 watts maximum. They're in series, the voltage is showing 400 volts, Yet, if I take a Fluke 87 meter and put it over this capacitor, that capacitor is right in the line. If I slow this thing down, that meter will show you over a thousand volts shooting back into these solar panels. That's why this voltage is working so well with solar panels better than it did with batteries. Uh, all y'all were witnesses who came to see this thing run, and I had uh, as much uh, battery voltage as I did this, and it was running slower than what you see here. Um, this is running off of these solar panels, and they only produce, because they're in series, 0.27 amps. 0.27 amps. Now, y'all can go anywhere in the world. You will not see this small amount of solar panels running a motor, taking running a positive displacement pump that weighs 375 pounds, running it up a 10-foot load, 10-foot high, and do it constantly all day long. Now these men right here are a witness that yesterday, and I want them to tell you, I put these in parallels where it was only 107 boats. It ran all day long and all day long. It was cloudy. Not once did I have the brightness of the sun that we have even now. Now these men will tell you, this is Joe and this is Tommy. Y'all tell them you say first and then you say what y'all saw yesterday. Okay, Joe, you tell me what you saw. Well, last Friday was the first time we ran it with solar cells. Yep. And, and it was running like this. We had a little sunshine, off and on, uh, partial, partial sunshine. Most amazing thing I've seen. Uh, this machine never ceased to, to amaze me. Went home to Birmingham over the weekend. I came back yesterday afternoon. When I walked in, the machine's running like this. I looked around and said, Joe, it's cloudy. What are you doing? It's not supposed to be running, but it was running, even with the cloud cover. Absolutely amazing. Okay. That's what I saw. And that, that, there's only one way to explain it, and the power's coming from the mass of that motor. Okay, Tommy, what did you see yesterday? Well, I saw the same thing. Uh, we hooked up the uh, solar panels. Yeah, talk loud. The four uh, small uh, solar panels, we hooked them up. Yeah, them up tell these motor. people loudly the way you feel it. 7,000 pound motor, and uh, it, it's pumping uh, this, uh, about a 400 pound mud pump, pumping a water through a five inch line, and uh, the only power it's got is off of these uh, small solar panels. And you saw it was doing it under cloudy conditions. Cloudy conditions. The whole time. Right. And and, uh, and the thing that I want everybody to be able to understand about this. Uh, now you'll see right now a cloud just came over this. Now because I got it all in series, this will stop if it gets cloudy enough. But if the sun comes right back, you'll notice this speeds back up, starts speeding up again. So as the sun is coming back out again. Uh, this cloud moves over. Now when they're in parallel, the whole thing can be uh, totally cloudy with a shadow that you cannot even see a shadow on the floor. And it'll still run that machine. And these people were a witness to that. You could not even see a shadow on the floor. 
and it ran. Is that true or not? Absolutely true. And they are telling you that was absolutely true. And they saw it all afternoon uh, for a good three, four hours that we did this. Now we're going out to Phoenix is where we're going. And y'all can contact Joe Noffy at area code 205-835-9022. Now if you'll take this and walk in the back, I want them to see the water coming out of this system. Okay, so the world should know that this technology is working. It's because you will not see anywhere in the world that small amount of solar panels running, especially a seven and a half thousand pound motor uh, pushing a 375 pound a positive displacement pump. Four inch intake, four inch outtake, 10 foot high, and you're doing over 5,000 gallons per day. Right here in Mobile, Alabama, where you find nothing running off of solar panels that has any kind of a power at all. But you won't find it out in Phoenix. You won't find it when I go out there where they have sun full day, all day, 10 hours a day. They will not, um, with those little solar panels, have a seven and a half thousand pound motor running and this graph right here proves it. Now this is showing you from a 10 horsepower down to a 250 horsepower and if you look at that current you'll see that current by the time you get down to 250 horsepower is drawing 275 amps of current and the heat of a motor is the current squared times the resistance. That's why they won't work off of solar panels. Solar panel, panels are known to produce voltage. They don't produce current. I've always said, I run this motor off of voltage, not current. What they teach is wrong. Y'all can know it by this technology, and the world should be behind this. Anyone that can, come out to Phoenix, call Joe Noffy at area code 205-835-9022. We're going to do this on July the 5th in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, if if you seem sincere, he'll tell you at the spot it's going to be at. The whole world should get behind this. Out in where I'm going, uh, they have more litigation on the Colorado River than any other river in the world because the, they get their water from California, from Phoenix, uh, from Nevada, and several other states from the Colorado River. Now, it's a known fact you can take a, uh, a pump, take the conventional motor, and take sieves and take salt water and run it through it and make fresh water. But the energy cost prohibits man from doing that because it makes the cost of water so high. These motors can be built and set on the side of the Pacific Ocean and totally solve their energy, their water problem as well as their energy problem. Everybody on the West Coast should be excited and behind this. We're going to be demonstrating that and it's going to be running at a faster speed than you see right here because it's about 90 degrees here right now, and in Phoenix, it's 110 degrees, because I checked with Dr. Swimmer. Uh, he's a top mathematician at Arizona State University. He totally endorses this, as well as 39 other major scientists of the world. Call Joe Noffy at area code 205-835-9022. Thank y'all.